What is up, YouTube? Because that's the first thing I want to talk about, you know, because, it's like, when you ask people what's up, you want them to actually, or at least I want them to actually tell me what, what's going on in their life. A lot of times, especially when I was in high school, hanging out with those stupid, I don't know, druggy, druggy kids who are, like, I don't know, they're, they're skateboarders and stuff. It's like, what, why do you even hang out with them? Like, a lot of times when I ask them what's up, they just respond, what's up, or nothing. Or, so one kid was obviously, um, I think they just, you know, it sounds like all they did was get high. They like to get high, that's it. Play and skateboard. Um, maybe that's why I want to go to Russia one day, because... Like, when you actually ask them, how are you, they'll not just be like, oh, I'm fine, how are you? They'll be like, wow, you really want to know about everything going on in my life? Well, this is the situation with me and my girlfriend, and we're questioning whether we're going to move in together or buy a new house, and my, my mom got a dog, and my promotion at work, and situation with my boss, and... My positive aggressive relationship with my plants. I don't know. Because I'm sure they, people over there realize that you can make, you can actually make a pretty strong relationship with plants. Or chickens. Or, I don't know, rocks. Just have to listen. So, uh, the real reason I wanted to make this video was because... Uh, today is World Tai Chi or Chi Gong Day. Well, Tai Chi and Chi Gong Day. But I think that's every day because, I mean, there are what are called holidays or holy days. You know, people just, they're not very creative with these words or it's not their job to, like, come up with it. Just, that's why lunatic is, you know, based on the moon, Luna. So that's where that came from. Dementia has a demon in it. Uh, the belief that it's just people decline because it's just like terrible spirits get into, which maybe that's sort of true. I'm thinking. Because, I mean, you'd be surprised with Tai Chi and Chi Gong. Like, I told my Tai Chi and Chi Gong instructor that I was in high school at the time. All my friends are learning about how, like, the body shuts down as you age and you know, how, like, the digestive systems are working and all this stuff that, like, doesn't work anymore. But I'm like, if you do Tai Chi, it doesn't have to. I mean, that's what people are discovering now. Just stay active or not even matters how hard you're exerting your body. Because, like, things like yoga, tai chi, they're light exercises, and I'd say swimming, but, uh, I don't swim, and, I uh, you know, most pools are chlorinated. Like, don't we know that's a carcinogen? Uh, that's why a lot of people wear wetsuits. I guess, like, once a month. The more you worry about it, the more it's a problem. So, Tai Chi and Chi Gung Day, uh, normally I'd go out to, you know, my instructor has an event, free event, but, you know, I think I could just do the same stuff at home, like, it's not that hard, or, you know, there are lots of ways to celebrate stuff, like, there's not just, um, doing Tai Chi and Chi Gung and Tai Chi and Chi Gung Day, there's also... You paint a picture, or draw a picture, or use color pencils, you could build a paper castle, you could build a house of cards, you could knit a sweater, or knit a blanket, um, dance. Uh, what I was planning to do was, um, learn how to play on the piano, Moonlit Sonata. Um... You could make something out of clay, like, let me show you something.
I made that, um, drawing that pyramid because, you know, pyramids are kind of magic. I, I like pyramids or little triangles or, you know. Um, oh, well, I wanted to make this video more about the, the real power of Taishin Chi Young. It's more about being like water, ultimately. It's not just about graceful aging or, I don't know, getting in touch with your body or, you know, it's for old people. Because it's not just for old people, it's just most people these days don't know that it's better to be proactive than reactive. I mean, because you'd be really surprised at the stuff that there's Iron Shirt sure, Qigong, there's breathing through your hands and feet Qigong. It's really, wow. Um, yeah, you'd be surprised. Like, my instructor told me that his master was old, his master's master. And the communists took him to China and they wanted to get rid of all the, like, Qigong Tai Chi people. Uh, his master was a guy, one of them who, he stared at the sun all day, like, over many years. He didn't just do it in one day, definitely. He, uh, over, he, like, I guess one day woke up really early and, uh, let his eyes gaze at the sun until hurt, then... Oh my god, his eyes hurt, so he couldn't look at more. But next day he did it again, and his eyes started hurting when he did it long enough. And, you know, you keep adding on like that, just a little more. Like, incremental workout, so it's a secret of life. So what, um, that John, or, I don't know, whatever his name is. The guy who wrote The Art of Learning, he said incremental workouts, because... If you think you're not going to get better with practice, then if you don't practice, you're just not going to get better. Yeah, there's little value in an entity style belief system where you're just not, where you think, oh, I'm just not a good test taker. I'm just not a good saxophonist. I'm just not a good piano player. I'm just not a good origami person. Um, oh, so I want to talk about the real, what's really behind Qigong and Tai Chi. It's gaining energy, or what's called Qi cultivation. And Qi can be used for just any, about anything like Vril. And the Vril Society, I think, started by the, um, wasn't it the, like, Adolf Hitler and Nazis? So the Vril Society, but they said they were of the descendants of like Atlantis, but maybe everyone's a descendant of Atlantis, or I don't know. Does that even matter? Like, so you're descendants of Atlantis? Does that make me more magic than everyone else? Hmm. I guess some ways are more magic because. I mean, they say the Jews were persecuted, the most persecuted type of the people throughout history because because they had the most magic. So the p other people were always trying to subjugate them. Um, maybe that's why the Hebrew language is the only one that writes right to left. Maybe there were a lot of left-handed Jewish people. Or, I don't know, just Hebrew was really and Kabbalah, the other things you should definitely look into. I love them. Um, really makes your life, makes you enjoy things more. Um, so, oh, what's really buying Qigong is the ability to control the world around you or well, I really want to make this video about controlling the weather because uh, I guess as you get more and more cheap you know, 
a lot of, a lot of chi, massive amounts of chi, um, I mean, it's not that easy, most people these days, they think 100%, like, all or nothing, and black and white, up, down, left, right, northwest, darkness and light, but, I mean, the world isn't like that, there's a lot more gray, you can't think in black and white, like, you know, when people say, well, I don't know if you want to be that black and white about it. So, you know, you usually have to feel out the, I guess, subtle differences, and sometimes they're just varying conditions. I mean, if there's too much, like, you're one person, and compared to the, I guess, the will, willpower of all of the other people in the world, because... I mean, now there are a lot more people in the world than there were just a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. Um, so... Controlling the weather is something I kind of do, um... You know, when it's windy or, I mean, raining. Because I did read that book, or my mom read it to me. It's a kid's book, a picture book. Um, it was the book by William Steig that was the insp. No, it wasn't the inspiration for Shrek, but he, that guy who wrote it, also wrote the same book that was the inspiration for Shrek. You see, Shrek it, it has a book. It's like a lot of people, like they like these movies or TV shows. Like my friend Brent, he really likes Orange Is the New Black. And I told him, I read the book. And he said, he was like, there's a book? Yes, if you look it up, it's based on this woman's memoir of, you know, her time in prison. Like, people in Hollywood usually don't have original ideas. Or if they do, they aren't good enough as, as Orange is the New Black. That was a really good show because that really happened. Or it's based on a true story. Uh, yeah, people aren't creative. The thing things are invented just because people have to. You can read all about it. Uh, so when I'm trying to control the weather, well, one I always take off my shoes because I'm usually standing on like soil, or you gotta be connected to the earth. Like shoes definitely cut off a lot of our circulation with our connection with the earth. Um, and I'm going to talk about, yeah, what I did when there was a, um, me and my parents were waiting in an, what, I think a Walmart parking lot, and we were waiting for the eclipse the total solar eclipse so i you know we were on one of those islands that has a tree and grass and stuff so i took on my shoes because i mean it's healthy and you know they're just old and they don't want to change it because they're gross and old and uh -huh. They're only going to overcome the Maya when they're in their next lifetime, or maybe five lifetimes from now. Uh, yeah, Maya, it's all kind of an illusion. Maya is the Hindi word for illusion. I believe, yeah, when you die, maybe it's, you know, you realize that you're just a sample of a soul made to look like a human being. Oh, so, when, it was getting cloudy when we were waiting for the solar eclipse, and so to get rid of the clouds, I held my left hand, my receptive hand, against the tree, and I kept saying over and over again, Morgan, goddess of the storm, I ask for your help in every form. Calm the winds, ground the energy, into the rock, into the tree. Send the storm far from me, and if my goddess does agree, then manifest, please, make it be. 
so mode it be. Because, I mean, you always got to end with so mode it be, because, I mean, you're one person, and, I mean, just think of the Earth, it's pretty small compared to the whole universe. Just, wasn't it like 60 years ago, or less than that, we just discovered it's not just limited to the Milky Way galaxy, there is actually all of these other galaxies, and the universe is really, really big and expanding. And the Earth is, you know, pretty small on that. And then one person on the Earth is even smaller than that. So, you know, you gotta practice, I guess. Um, so, oh, that book by William Stieg, who wrote the book that inspired Truck, he also wrote Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. It said that. Sylvester had a um, collection of pebbles. He liked to collect pebbles. And then one day he found a pebble that he was red. It was like colorful, so he liked it. He picked it up. And then it started raining, and he wished, oh, I wish it stopped raining. And all of a sudden, it stopped raining. And, um,. He, uh, all of a sudden it stopped raining. And it went on this whole, uh, bunch of things where Sylvester just, he wished for all these things through a pebble and all of a sudden, like the pebble is magic, he realized he could make things happen with the pebble. That's why I call them wish stones. Wishing trolls, I guess. Um... Uh, and, uh, but at the end, he was out in the fields by himself with a pebble, and he ran into a lion, and he was like, ah, he panicked, I wish I was a rock, or he couldn't just wish for the lion to be gone, but he wished to be a rock, because he panicked, and all of a sudden, he turned into a rock, and you know the pebble wasn't on him. It wasn't. It didn't land on the rock, so he was still a rock. And yeah, so he um just waited until his parents happened to see the rock because they were going on a picnic. They were really sad. They sent out a bunch of search parties in search of. Sylvester, but they didn't know he was a rock, and they had a picnic on the rock. They thought it'd be a good place to have a picnic, but then his dad said, Oh, I see that pebble. It, Sylvester would like it. I'll put it on this rock. We're reading. Then all of a sudden, you know, it's Sylvester. Um, so, yeah, I believe in magic, or, well, current thing about magic is, that's the reason, um, rhino powder, or rhino horn, um, powder from rhino horns is worth more than its weight in gold right now, because, because it's, um, in China, they, I guess, some people believe it's, you know, it cures a bunch of illnesses such as warding off cancer, evil spirits, which, but they believe evil spirits are the cause of all disease. Which I know it's germs, but it's like, I remember I was at a, the Youth Earth Service Corps meeting once and we went outside and we, he gave out bagels to everyone, because that's what we always have, and, but I don't eat bagels anymore, and I guess when we were sitting outside on a bench, I put my bagel down, because I was doing something else in my with my hands, like a sketch pad, and I was drawing, then this other kid said, EW! GERMS! And what I should have done was just picked up the bagel, 
and dropped it on the ground on the dirt and just ate it because I know one germ isn't gonna kill you like there's nothing wrong with having a certain number of germs or did you know the human has a lymphatic system and when it's not in use it gets totally neglected by not by living a totally sanitized life free from germs and when you're in a bubble then you're a lot weaker so eat your dirt not too much um yeah be careful obviously but and that's why i purposely go out and stand in mud every day with my feet bare feet feels really nice um So when to say, pay attention, always yell, look for the salties, actually think, because me and my grandfather, when he was in the retirement home, he, uh, I guess, fell asleep in his recliner chair one day, and then his, his dentures, his false teeth, as he was sleeping, they fell out, and when he woke up and they were gone, he didn't think that they'd just be somewhere nearby. He thought, someone must have stolen my teeth. My teeth are missing. Someone stole my teeth. So my aunt went over and she she went to visit him and he said, someone stole my teeth. He was like, she was, why would anyone want your teeth? Why, why did someone want your teeth? And I mean, that's what makes sense. And then she went down to the lobby and everyone was like, did you find his teeth? So, you know, she got everyone looking for it and she just looked in the recliner because she knew, oh, he must have been reclining and then he fell asleep and his teeth fell out and, yeah, so she found it and, you know, you just got to think, like, me and my grandfather, when he was in the retirement home, he kept saying, all they do is eat here. It's just eat. All they do is eat. No, p people do other things. Just, you know, that's the main thing that's sold. Because, I mean, people are trying to make money. Like the food companies, food industries, they're obviously trying to market to you. They're, they're in the business of selling food. I mean, if people found out that you don't need to eat every day, or you can just eat wild edibles, like free stuff, or just don't eat, just get your energy from the sun, then, um, they'd be out of business. So, anytime they learn about people just not eating, or realizing that I'm not hungry, so why eat, they, um, all of a sudden, they're like, no, that's stupid. That's a totally dangerous thing. Yeah, brainwashing. Well, brainwashing, um... Yeah, I'm very anti-brainwashed American. Uh, I'll put links in the description that support my arguments. Okay, guys, always check the description. You're always like... I might not say it, like, it might, I mean, obviously people don't, aren't always going to say about, they don't always talk about these hidden things, but, you know, you just go look. I mean, if you don't ask, they're not going to tell you. Of course, that's why they say, um, asking questions in school is a great way to learn. Um... Yeah, you always gotta do your own research or, you know, don't just wait for someone else to, to talk about these things because they're not. Um, so it's World Tai Chi and Qigong Day and also you should, uh, it's about trying new things. I guess that's what Qigong is about because, man, again, it's like being like water. That's what it's about because... In the old days, the people who needed to martial arts, like when, when people needed to invent this stuff, because 
was actually like ancient China was very dangerous. People would mug you very, they beat you up and they tried to steal all things from you because, you know, people needed to actually use this self defense stuff. And yeah, it was really, um, I guess a lot to think about because, you know, in my class, the Tai Chi teacher says, you always got to think about your intention and how your the different ways you can posi you position your body affects the way their body works. Which yeah, it's really a lot to it. It's really you gotta look more into it. They say the benefits are benefits of doing Tai Chi. You hear things better, taste things better, smell things better. All your senses are better. Yes, feel things better. Um, oh, so I guess the, the moral of this story is try new things or not just new foods or new whatever, but try working with clients. Try learning something on the piano. Uh, see what it's like when you Try a new instrument. Try, see what's like when you start painting on canvas. And try to sell your stuff. See what's like when you go out and are a street performer with whatever instrument or whatever, whatever your talent is. Or try your hand at juggling. Try your hand at um, making a house of cards. I know it's hard. Uh, try your hand at or just look up on YouTube something like, I don't know, do you believe in free will? Like, you know, you wouldn't think just asking the question would come up with the stuff, but I mean, YouTube is an algorithm, so it just looks for keywords. So obviously stuff's got to come up when you just type in, do you believe in free will or just Try new things like listen to new music by a new artist. Like Meryl Manson. He's my favorite. Um, or, I don't know, just try new things, people. The world's changing. The universe is expanding, so expand your mind with it. Because, uh, I mean, for all you know, there's the universe inside you. Microcosm. Yeah, every human has a microcosm in them. That's why you don't need to go to church or whatever. Just go somewhere to worship. It's, you know, all with you. So, I guess God is with you, always. So long, farewell, I'll be your zing, goodbye. Good luck, stay creative.